welcome to Books and Coffee. Today I'm going to be doing a recommendations video for my top favorite books. I'm going to start with my favorite and what got me into reading in the very first place. And that is The Mortal Instrument City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This book follows a girl named Clary Frey. She is or she, her mom goes missing and she joins these shadow hunters to try and find her mom. So basically she joins them and fights with them and does all this stuff to try, like I said, and find her mom. And I'm very bad at descriptions. I'm so sorry in the meantime. But this book has a lot of romance and a lot of just a lot of good stuff. And if you like Cassandra Clare books, you will definitely like The Mortal Instrument City of Bones. My next favorite book, and I have the first book with me. I have not read all of them. I have read, I am on, I believe, the third book of this series. So I've not finished it. I have finished this specific book though. And that is, a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This follows a girl named Feyre. Freya? Feyre, I believe her name is, if I said that right. Feyre, and she kills this wolf. Little does she know, he is actually a fairy. And so this prince of the fairies comes to her house and asks her or gives her an option. He can either kill her or she become her his prisoner for the rest of her life. There is a love interest in this book. I am not going to mention it because it probably spoils the book. Just know that this book is so good. And I'm sure you've probably heard of it because it's popular. But if you have not, it is Sarah, uh, Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Next book I have is another one of my favorite books. I have the second one. I do not own the first one, so I cannot physically show you the first one. But I have the name of it and the second book. The first book is, drum roll please, From Blood and Ash by Sarah, uh, sorry, From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout, that is the first book. The second book is, ready for it? A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This book follows Poppy. She is a maiden. So she gets told basically what she can wear, what she eats, what, and she wears a lot all white, I believe, if I remember correctly. But she gets told what she can and can't do, what she can wear, what she can eat, and just basically gets told everything what to do. She wears a veil, so no one has seen her face. And she goes to this club where she meets Castile. And it goes on from there. They fall in love. Obviously, I don't think that's a spoiler because, you know, it's, it's in the book. But if it is, I am so sorry. But if you like this, you will love other books by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And she is such a good author. I love, love, love her books. The next book I have is, and I have not finished this book. I am still on the book. But I am on chapter, I believe, 15 or 14. And it is so good so far. And I'm going to tell you what I know about it so far. But first, I'm going to tell you what the book is. And it is Legend Born by Tracy Dion. It is, I've heard a lot about this book, so I decided to go pick it up. This follows, I believe her name is Bree. Her mom dies, and I believe, yeah, the mom dies. And Bree joins this secret society in order to get answers about her mom's death and they are called Legendborn. And she meets Nick who helps her get into the Legendborn. And 
There is so much action-packed stuff going on in this book from the very beginning. It is so good. And I have already got the second one and it's on its way. And I can't wait to read it. And yeah. That is all I have for now. This video might be longer the next time I do book recommendations. So if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.